won't you allow me to go with my smart phone? You won't stay with me forever, you know. But can you do that? Well, let me try and see if I can move this stiff hair out of the line. Alright then, um, I'll leave you to go to the garden now, okay? okay? Let me just go have a shower and change your clothes. No problem. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Take care. Anyway, I, I care about you. I like you, honey. Oh, you like me a lot. No, that is quite different from love. Still married to my wife. Yeah, you're still married. How you are a married man, but you call it quits. What? what? Hey, do you think that woman will ever walk again? Huh? Oh, please. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, meanwhile, let me go and see her. I left her alone in the room, so I gotta go and see her. Not so fast. Okay. Yeah. Stay with me a little bit, okay? Stop, stop. Because we've been doing this all. I don't care what you're trying to say. You've got five days. Just running to us. I don't care. No, I don't. I don't care. Love you. to bed. It's not easy to cope with someone in my condition, especially a married young man. Just weeks after our wedding, everything crashed. Mother. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I want up the watermelon. Okay. So, all right, all right, okay. He caused the accident, but he has already apologized, you know, and he has continued to apologize, showing great remorse every minute, every hour. Uh -huh. I've forgiven him. I just thank God he came out of it alive. Well, you're such a lucky girl. I mean, with an attractive husband. Devoted mother-in-law and a nice house to stay. Mm -hmm. Well, you're right there, you know. I am really lucky. You know, Ken loves me and 
That is all that matters to me. I know. But tell me, who was that girl I saw downstairs? Oh, Chessie. Chessie? She's a family friend. Oh. I don't just like her. Why? I don't know, I can't say. I mean, she talks too much. She's a talkative. <laughs> I understand what you mean. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> she's not as beautiful as you are. <laughs> and that is why your husband is so crazy about you. And I suppose he'll be crazier if he sees me walking on my feet. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Please don't go there again. Okay? See, I promise you, I'll continue telling you soon or later you get to your feet. It's alright, okay? We'll take a lot of time. Hi. Okay, so how good is my baby getting? Mm. Sorry, I came a little late than expected. Oh, okay. it's it's okay. I'm fine, and you know I'm always home to welcome my darling husband. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I hope Linda is taking good care of my baby. Oh, she's been terribly nice. You know, Mom really made a nice choice. And I'm grateful. Mm. Well, I'm happy to know that mom, for once, did this right. Mm. I'm also glad to know that you're beginning to understand her. <laughs> you know, at the start of this whole thing, you were skeptical about you know, things, but now you're in the picture. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. You know, it's just that I hated the idea of us not being together like we used to be in our own home. Oh, my baby. And the arrangement of you sleeping so far away from me got the better part of me. Think of it. It's okay, I promise. I mean, henceforth, I'll not be too far away from my, from my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, what happened to your shirt? My shirt? Yeah, no, it's not button hurt. Oh. <sighs> I was in a rush, you know, that's to tell you the tediousness of my job. You know, I, I just wish um, I was on my feet. At least my boy won't have to go out dressed like this. Thanks, Mom. Now I'm better. Anyway, just um, go take your bath and relax. You must have had a hectic day. Oh, I can say that again. Um, I want my baby to care well fast. The housekeeper will tend to you until Nurse Linda comes back in the evening. Oh, I prefer Paulina. I mean, Paulina knows me well enough uh, and she can take care of my needs while Nurse Linda is out. Besides, I can stand and depart. Listen, I'm trying my best to make you comfortable here. I don't know why you're being so difficult. Mommy, I'm not being difficult. I just prefer Paulina. She knows me better than Auntie Pat. So I don't know what I'm saying in that case. No, I... Hello. I know what's going on. On what's happening? Ask your wife. I mean, I'm trying to make her understand that the housekeeper can tend to her why Nurse Linda comes back later. But she just seems so adamant. Adamant? Yes. You know, she insists on bringing in Paulina against no. my wishes. No, that ain't right. As a matter of fact, I'm done with this discussion. Just excuse me. Talk to me. Oh, come on, honey. What's, what's going on? Look, I think my mother is right. How will you bring in Paulina while mom and Auntie Pat are here? You make them sound so, I mean, incompetent. And I know that's not what you want to say. Come to think of it, Paulina is my secretary. My employee in the and office. so was I before we got married. It's a different ball game here. It's not the same. You know, Paulina is my friend. And I just felt it would be nice to have her around. You know, someone I can talk to. That's all. Agreed. But I think mom should be allowed to run the house, okay? Oh, come on, girl, listen. You're not going to make it sound like you're not 
appreciative of all she's doing. You don't want to start what you can't finish. To let Linda take you to bed so you can sleep and gain some more strength. I don't think sitting this way is good for your condition. I thank you very much for your concern. You know, but I don't want to sleep now. Why not? I want to stay here with you, chat with you. You're my husband. Yeah, I know, but um, you know, I have to go to the factory. I mean, I, I need to know what's going on, you know? Today is Saturday. Oh, that's true. You have to rest and talk with your wife. But we've been talking since morning. Do we have to talk all through the day? I mean, shouldn't If you do it for me today, it will be the greatest sacrifice. Just do it for your wife who has been on her back for a very long time. Actually, won't run away because you're with me today. Will it? That's true, baby. That's true. Honestly, I, I wish I could talk to you over and over again. I mean, talk to you all through the day. You know, but um, please, I, I want to beg you to please understand, you know? Understand what? Just understand that I... What I to... do you want me to understand? Alone, please. All right, uh, I'll leave it if it will make her happy. How could you do this to me? After Sorry, I'll have to go. Take it easy. Give you my heart, my soul, and my body. You betrayed my love and left me all betrayed my love and left me all alone oh no tell me why all the gaming company oh why why oh why why is life so Put yourself so much again, it's okay, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. I must say, I find your mood swings and sulking quite amusing, Joyce. I don't understand. Of course, I don't expect you to understand. You are completely buried in self. And you're beginning to take it out on others around you, particularly Chessie. 
Chessie? Mm -hmm. Did she complain to you? Of course not. She's too nice and polished for that. But I can tell she was offended. Helen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Yes, you don't seem to like our friends. Which I find upward. My dear, see now that you're married to my son, my only child, the hair apparent to the Bradsons. It becomes totally expedient that you begin to like and welcome those we like and welcome. It's got nothing to do with me not liking your friends. I was nice to everybody down there. That's what you're... Yes, you don't like her. Because she intimidates you and you can help showing it. Intimidates me? Yes. What for? All I know is that I've never been rude to her. I was as nice to her as I was to everybody. Mama, something's so oh, wise. Please. Don't always quit yourself. This is absurd. This conversation is getting out of hand, mother in law. Chassie means absolutely nothing to me. And I don't even understand what this argument is all about. Just leave me alone. Leave my room. Just go. To let this sickness get the better part of your brain. I mean, don't let it turn into a shrew. A shrew? You heard me. Me? I mean, I, I don't like the way you've been snapping at everybody lately. You snap at me, you snap at my mother, you snap at everybody. Very soon you will stop seeing anybody except Nurse Linda and your gorgeous Davis, who's always seeking attention. How dare you. you say such a thing to me? And how dare you mock Davis? Who was just trying to be sweet? And who is your most loyal friend? Ken. God. Hey, I don't want you to take me so literally. Okay, I'm, I'm more devoted than, to David than any of my friends. Then you know it. I'm sorry if you think I was trying to get at your mom. You know, you shocked me. I didn't even know I was like that. I never even felt it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it that way, okay? Please don't take me so seriously. Uh, I mean, now, where's your sense of humor? Huh? I didn't find what you just said funny. Well, maybe I was trying to make you laugh and I can't make you laugh anymore. I, I'm sorry and I want you to forget it, okay? You didn't hear it. Hello. A baby. Hello. I love hearts. My hearts love. Come on, girl. You. Hi, buddy. Don't touch me. Oh. 
honey, I've been thinking. You know, why don't we get our own fairy home? You know, so that we can be together. I'm fit enough to be taken by car now. Superb idea. Believe me, honey, you you ain't fit yet to run home. Okay, but can't we go away, you know, and be together, even if it's for a few days? I won't mind. Please. Please. Let me make you a promise. As soon as you can walk, I promise you a second honeymoon to South Africa. Just the two of us. You know how I used to be. Remember? <laughs> I remember. That would be so good. You know, I'm I'm so lucky to be recording in your mother's mansion. Okay, I'm happy too. And everybody's so good to me. But I am not jealous of Chelsea. And uh, honestly, I don't want you to think so. Not the slightest need to be. Okay. <laughs> okay. You still don't think I'm a shoe, right? <sighs> We're not quarreling now, right? use that word. If I do my slightest mistake, I use such words at you. Believe me, it's inconsequential. I mean, it's just a slip of tongue on my part. I didn't mean it. I mean, how can I call you a shrew? I'm sorry, honey. Please forgive me, okay? May I forgive you? I've already forgiven you. While I was out. Yeah, <laughs> it did. It's just that it's so obvious my mother in law doesn't like me much. Oh, uh, come on. You know how mother in laws could be at times? Most of them gorgeous, lovely, and mostly annoying. So you need to just come off it totally. But her own case is that she's so possessive of care. And I feel so helpless. I just wish. Just get up on my feet. I want my own home. Yeah, good. Now you're talking. I mean, you need to do it. I, all you need to do is just to ask Ken about no, you. No, no, no. I don't want him to miss his overseas trip. You know, he just got this new contract. And I don't want to stand in this way. I know. I know, okay? But you need to think. I mean, don't you think of yourself at times? Think, go. Ken and I are one. What he wants is what I want. Um, I know you guys are one, but you need to think at the same time. I mean, you need to get up from this condition you are. You have to. And I'll personally talk to him about it. Okay. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, sure. Great idea. It's nice. Okay, but you have to do this cautiously. Yeah, promise. It's caution. I will. <laughs> mm. And you know, it's heaven being with you like this. Mm. Just the two of us, like we used to be. I know. No, I, I wish I could spend more time with you than just this few moments we shared. You know? Each time I think of it, it's just the, I mean, the workload. It keeps piling in the factory. Of course I know. 
but you know sometimes you know I just feel you should make out more time for me especially on Saturdays at least for your wife who is no longer the pretty queen on her feet mm. I believe you and I promise okay henceforth I'll be with you to make you happy <laughs> to give you good and company. <laughs> Thank you. I'll always be with you. No, I'll be around. To show you all the love. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love my baby. <clears throat> my son. Now I can see you have forgotten that you have a visitor downstairs. Oh my god. I... A very important one. <laughs> I nearly forgot, Mom. Uh, I'll be down shortly. Alright. Mm -hmm. And Joyce, how are you feeling? Well, I am fine. Yes, I can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, honey, who's the visitor? Um, um, I, uh, uh, Chessie, Chessie, um, Mr. Ben's daughter. Chessie? What's she doing here by this time? Oh no, her, her dad asked her to forward some business proposals to me and that's it. Honey, I thought business proposals should be discussed either in the office or at the factory. No, <laughs> baby, forget it. Look, business could be discussed or negotiated anytime, anywhere. Could discuss business for lunch, have a dinner date. I mean, you know, anytime. In the office? Okay. Oh, now I see. My detractors are at work. Huh? Honey, what? should anybody come telling you anything about me, cynical, or whatever? Just know I'm the man you've always known. The man you loved. The man you still love. And you're the woman I love, okay? It's you. Nobody can ever take your place, okay? <laughs> So don't ever fret. Don't ever let anybody put a poison the feeling we have for each other. Okay. okay. I love my baby. I love my baby too. I love my boy. That's what you say. <laughs> okay. So okay. let me try and kiss life into this sense, okay? <laughs> I love my baby. I love my baby. I love my boy. Ah. Uh. Anybody upset you while I was out with the bands? Come on, darling, tell me. Darling, please. Uh, oh, did you have another fall? Yes. I had another fall. Oh, my boy. My little angel. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Sorry that he's back now. Rotten having another tumble. 
But I know you'll soon make it. I mean, you already made it, okay? Come on, cheer up. Thanks. Um. Uh, do you want me to stay with you now? Or you want me to help you to bed? Finish up your contract. Oh. Ah. That's my angel. Oh, my God. Oh, honey. <laughs> That's what I'm standing. Good night. How could you do this to me? After all, we've been together. Just very soon, sir. Just for us to put the marble, sir. Okay. So that we can finish it up, sir. I see you very often now with Ken. What is happening? Does he still have time for his wife? Of course he does. Are you sure? <laughs> Why? I mean, after all, he's married to her. Are, are you telling me that you are not a source of distraction? Me? Distraction? How now? Chessie, I want you to stay away from him. That's not possible, Dad. I mean, we are in love already. In love? Don't you know he's a married man? He's getting a divorce. That's not possible. I can't support that. That is wickedness at his speak. Look, I want you to swallow whatever passion you have for him and stay away from the relationship. From the Dad, relationship. that's not possible. It's already too late, okay? Acting rather strange these days. He looks withdrawn and really talks about Joyce. And, and he doesn't spend this meaningful time with her, right? Joyce told you? Yeah. Oh, girl. Joyce called me last night. Okay. And she was crying. Why talking to me? I guess all is not well with her. Hmm. Anyway, from my own view, I'm sure something is wrong somewhere. I just hope that girl is not plunging into further crisis. <laughs> Did you just say a crisis? Not while I'm still alive. Look, I can't stand her being hot again. I mean, not again. <laughs> Why is it like this? Why does it hurt so much? Why does it hurt so much? 
You can talk to us. You know we are always here for you. And you can keep your lips in forever. I love things that I have to have a How do you know? You won't understand. But that is by the way I'm also been moving over to our new home on the island. Now, why do you want to do that? Because I want my life back. I can't continue to roll along on a wheelchair forever. I want the both of you around me. I, I just want my life back. You sure that is all you want? There's nothing else. I want a new beginning. I want to take my life back. You get it. Mm. Trust me. I actually came to see for something I think is very important. Spirit. What is going on, Ken? I don't get it. I'm sure you do, Ken. Exactly what is going on between you and Joyce. Joyce? That's my wife you're talking about, man. She's my wife. Yeah, if you say she's your wife, and then I'm sure you're aware that she's hot right now with a body in her heart. Oh. For real? Well, I, I think I... Sorry about that. See, my wife and I would never... Excuse me. Chelsea, what is it? I said, what is it? Is that one the same girl I met at your place the other time? Davis. I love my wife. I love her so dearly. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Yeah, Mr. Ken, if you say you love your wife, very much I'm sure, then you should as well know that she's hot right now with a big body in her heart. Mm. I'll say you should try and make it more real. Thank you. Yeah. You have a nice day. Thank okay. you. My wife's advocate. Some guy over at the school kitchen told me you can do something like this. What job exactly are we talking about here? I'd like you to trace somebody for me, say four days. You follow him up everywhere he goes to. Okay. Got it, though. 
that would be a problem. But how much are we looking at here? Let's say fifty k will be enough, at least for a starting. Fifty thousand. Yeah. I would say that is fair enough. But you promise me you will not be seen throughout your following him up. <laughs> I'm like the wide world. You feel me? Or you can't touch me. Anyway, meet me at the same point tomorrow by 8 o'clock. Now, the problem I have right now is we can't do any business. Mr. Man, are you here to do business or to make more career? Anyway, I can see you're flowing like you already have it going on. I'll okay. give you something right now. Okay. Hello, Mr. Man. Come take a look at this. Do you know me? Not really, but the face looks familiar. That's Ken Brian Bradson. The oh. son to the billionaire. Who doesn't know him in this vicinity? So, what is the day all about? I'd like you to follow him up for four days and you will not be seen. Like you promised, you're the white wing, right? No problems. Where am I meeting you up? Right. This is spot tomorrow by 8 o'clock. I'm counting on you. Drugs? Brilliant. So, how was your outing? Oh, beautiful. Nice. Uh, very soon I'll be running off to play golf with Mr. Ben, you know. I just want to rest with you for a while. Oh, oh, honey, you don't have to worry, you know. You have every right to leave. You don't want to uh, continue kissing and romancing just. <laughs> so, you know. Tell me, why won't I kiss and romance Chelsea if that's what you think your husband is doing? It's not what I think. It's what you've been doing. I know you've been doing it with Chelsea. And that is very nasty of you. Well, Stop going on a business talk with Jesse because of and what you oh, think. Oh, and you can't help falling in love with Jesse either. And you can't help kissing someone who is not your wife. No, I never kissed Chelsea, and I don't intend to kiss her. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. No more lies. This is Ken. Kept quiet so far. Thinking that maybe just by chance you didn't mean it. But the more I keep quiet, the more you continue to flirt with Jesse. You stop it! What are you trying to insinuate? Who's been lying to you? Huh? Oh! Just the other day, by the garden. I'm just kissing and romancing. And I walked out just in time to hear you tell Jessie that you adore her. Thank you!
listen and listen. Just listen. I mean, we must stop this relationship now. Why? Can't you just look? She's beginning to suspect every of her movements. Yeah, that is part of life. Come on. I mean, we leave in suspicion every day. Can't you understand? She's beginning to know that I'm having a secret affair with you. Look, why don't we just forget about this issue and talk about... There's so many interesting things to talk about, you know? Look, I have to stop. We have to stop it now. Look, I can't continue. You know what? You know what? Yeah? Why don't you come over to my place tomorrow so we could, you know, talk about this. What? Yeah. I'll be alone and naked. <laughs> of course. I know you want it. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you, Loli. I mean, a great idea. See, this will give you a complete peace of mind. And some respite from all I see around you. It's okay, baby. It's alright. I still need my friends around me. I know. I need my life back. I see you. Now, my limbs are beginning to gain strength. I want my life back. I want to live. It's okay, baby. See, this is what I've wished for you from the beginning. And mm -hmm. I promise you, in a short while, you will go home and smile again. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's alright. Okay? Now, smile for me. Smile. It's alright. It's okay. like that. You will make it. The doctor promised that you would. Thank you. Well, um, mommy, there's something I, I need you to help me out with. Yeah, anything. Within my powers, I'll do it. So what do you want? I, um, I want to move over to the other house, uh, the new one, you know, if possible tomorrow, let me just open up the place and stay there. Hmm. Sounds good. As a matter of fact, I think it's good to have a change of scene. I thought so too. Hmm. You know, men, they always get tired of helpless women lying around the whole house. With a hospital nurse. Um, Ken can come over whenever he wants. That's the most intelligent and excellent thing I've heard you say in weeks. As a matter of fact, my son has been feeling cramp. So it'd be nice you just go over to the other house. Hmm? You, you want to go start going there? 
<laughs> no, I think tomorrow will be fine. Okay. I agree with you. Why do you say you want to call off the relationship? I, I, I thought we were through with this talk. No, we are not. Chessie, what's your problem? Nothing. Listen to me, Ken. We've been together for too long. You can't just wake up one morning and say to me, you want to call off the relationship simply because you're married. Of course I'm married. And I love my wife. Oh, yeah? Listen, Chessie, I owe her a lot, especially at this critical moment of her life. Mm -hmm. Look, Chessie, I'm sorry if I'm causing you any pain. But please, we have to call it quits. Call it quits. Yes. I suggest you have a meeting. What do you really want from me, Jesse? Nothing. Ken. Your baby is growing. What did you say? What I'm saying is that I'm pregnant. Your baby is right here. Now, the only thing I want to hear is for you to tell me how and when we start making plans for our wedding. Probably we could just go to the registry. Stop it! Just stop it! Look, this girl. Oh my god! Oh my god! This girl has trapped me. Trash can, okay? Deal. It's unfortunate. Mom, this is a Miss Normal. What's Miss Normal about it? What? Can't you understand that I'm married? Married to a cripple that can't have babies for you? No, Mom, it's not like that. I mean, the accident did not affect her womb. Then why were you pestering Chelsea? Uh -huh. Why were you sleeping with her? Huh? It was a mistake. A mistake? Can it a mistake? So? Yes, ma'am. Eh? So what do you want her to do? Abort my first grandchild? No, it's not going to happen. No. I won't allow it. No, mom, no. I, I love my wife. I love her. Listen, you don't stay married out of sympathy. You hear me? Even when it's selfish? Selfishness is part of mankind. So, so what are the realities? Well, the reality is that your wife is permanently crippled. No, mom, but the doctor said whatever accident she had, I mean, does not stop her from childbearing. She can always make a baby. Oh, really? That's doctors for you. They never tell you you're going to die until you are six feet below. Kenneth Brian brought someone. Do you want me to die without seeing my grandchild? Do you? Mom. Mom, I'm confused. Don't be, listen, don't be. Okay? 
did the right thing at the right time. Okay? So, what am I gonna do now? That is my son. Okay? What to do is to go to the registry, marry Jesse. I'm sure she's going to have a boy. So that the child she's carrying will become yours legitimately. Okay? Mom, what about my wife? Listen, we are not selfish, are we? See, as soon as Joyce can take care of herself, she will be handsomely compensated. Okay? And listen, the Brian Bratton family cannot live fallow because of that nameless poor wretch. Come on. Huh? Come on, my dear. I'm sure the boy will look like you when he's born. <sighs> come on, dear. Come on. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. It's okay. It's okay. Listen to me. It's all right. If it's not all right, mommy will tell you. Excuse me. You right from the very beginning. I know he's cheating on me. Having an affair with Chassis. But I was just thinking. It's more than that, Joyce. It's more than that. He's even gone beyond the relationship. What do you mean? Paulina, please tell her. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Tell me what? Is Ken okay? Uh, is he okay? Uh, is, is there anything wrong with him? David, I think you should do the talking yourself. Chessie... Chessie is pregnant. Chessie is pregnant? So? Ken is responsible. It is true, Joyce. She succeeded in moving herself with pregnancy. And Ken, he's never really been in love with you, right from the very beginning. Joyce, I need you to get Ken out of your mind. So, should I tell my dad about this? Oh, no, 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 not yet, my dear. Okay? As soon as my son is done with all the necessary documentation concerning the divorce, then we can break the news to him. Hmm? What about the will? What are you doing about it? Well, he has not done anything about it yet. But it will be taken care of as soon as the divorce is settled. Okay? And when is this supposed to be? Well, um... As soon as uh, Christina is walking on her feet again, you know, I don't want the court to attach sentiment to the fact 
that she's still incapable of taking care of herself. that um, Ken didn't really have time to make alterations to his will, considering the fact that he left everything in my name. So I decided to concede 60% of his will back to you, then 20% um, to a modeless baby's home, and I'll make do with the remaining 20%. So I'll call my lawyer to that effect. My God. No, no, no. Please, don't do this. Please, you're giving back almost everything. Please, please, please. I'm so sorry for everything. I forgive you. Forget all. Oh, Joyce. My God. It's okay, I'm so sorry for everything. They were never really mine, you know, so... Um, please, thank you. It's it's okay. You don't have to say anything. I have to be on my way now. Thank you. And, um... Nah, you so... I thought I should let you know that I'm getting married to Davis. So. You're getting married? Yes, to Davis? Yes, ma. Oh my god. <laughs> ma, you know, what can abandoned Davis changed? of my life with Ken. To love became hurt and pain. You give me reasons to love again. You know, I, I once lived beyond my past. Smiled at my present. Tomorrow, until tragedy struck. And now, you. Um, what if tomorrow never comes? Joyce, even if the earthquakes, the sea boys, in darkness, 
forbids daylight. I, David, will always be in your hands. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Betrayed my love. I left me.